Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 19. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214 Week 4, click on the link below the video. Hey, this video we have a great couple of examples. We want to see how to use the right, left, mid, and search function. These are text functions that allow us to extract just part of a text string. Now, here's an ID. And this is from an external data dump we got. And our lookup table only uses the last part of the ID. So in order to do equals VLOOKUP, we can't click up on the whole cell because this wouldn't match with what we have in the first column of our lookup table. But no problem. Notice, here's some data. And we're going to do three examples here. We'll see how to extract everything the, in the front of the text string, in the middle, and the end. The trick is, is you always have to recognize a pattern. For the end parts, the pattern is easy. It's one, two, three, four. There are always four characters from the right. So in this case, we can use the right function. Now, the right function needs some text. And then you tell it, hey, the number of characters from the right. Now, the right, Control Enter, will extract the text. And there we have it. Now, we can put that inside of our VLOOKUP. I'm going to, with the column highlighted and the active cell at the top, hit F2. Now, that right is going to be our lookup value. So VL tab, there it is, lookup value. I come to the end, comma. The rest of it we know how to do. We highlight the table, F4, comma. The item we're getting is the price. It's in the second column, so 2 comma, and we're doing exact match, so we'll put 0, close parentheses, and there we go, control enter. And just like that, we have extracted the last four digits from a text string for, from this data dump product ID and looked up in our table where we have only the last four characters and price. Now let's look at a slightly different example and slightly more complicated example because the data doesn't always follow a nice, easy pattern like 4 from the right. Now here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the, the text we want it for this particular text string is 6 from the left, right? We could see we have our ID here for our table and then the price. Again, this is common. You get a data dump from some other data source. They have a much more comprehensive, complicated product ID. And then we use just part of the ID. So let's look at left, the text. And if I said 6, that wouldn't work here, Control-Enter, because not all of the partial IDs that we want are exactly 6 characters. But we can find a pattern here. The pattern is everything before the dash. So we have to learn a new function. Now I'm going to delete everything, and we're going to learn search. search is straightforward. You tell it to look for some character within a larger text string, and it will tell you the position. Notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The seventh position is our dash. Down here, it would be the fifth position. That's what search does. So find what text? Double quote, dash, double quote. That's the what's called a subtext string, a smaller text string. Within, boom. Close parentheses. And that's just number format. I'm going to Control Shift tilde, which is the keyboard shortcut for general number format. Or you could go to the drop down and apply general. Now I'm going to double click and send it down. And you can see that is just what we want here. Now we can use the results from search inside of left. So I'm going to put the active cell in edit mode with F2. All search is doing is giving us a number of characters, the position at which that dash is. Now, actually, that won't work, because that would give us all of the text from the left all the way, including the dash. And every time, we want one less character than search has given me, so simply minus 1. I'm going to repopulate this formula, Control, Enter. Now, that'll work, F2. Now, we're going to use that result from search in our left. So now I say left. There's the text. Boop comma, and then that number of characters is that search bit we just created. Notice, this is dynamic. As we copy it down, we'll always get exactly the number of characters from the left that we want. 
close parentheses, control enter. Oh, that is so cool. Now we can use that inside of our VLOOKUP, F2. Notice we're building the formula from the inside out. So we did search, then minus one, then left. You know, get it working, see if it's working right, and then come and just put it inside of VLOOKUP. So VL tab, that whole thing right there, it's just getting our lookup value. Comma, the table, F4, comma, 2, comma, 0 for exact match. Close parentheses. Oh, that is an amazing formula. Control Enter to populate that edited formula all the way down. Control Shift 4 to format with currency. All right, now, that was a hard one, right? Left search and VLOOKUP. Now, let's go down and look at our next example. What if our ID was always the middle part? Well, here's the thing. We can use mid, and mid needs to know what the starting position and how many characters. So it looks like we're going to have to have our starting position will be variable 7, 8. Uh, this one will be 5, 6. And so, oh, wait a second. We can use our same search here. Equals search. I'm going to search for what text? A dash and double quotes, comma, within this. Control Enter, Control Shift tilde for num general number formatting. Double click. Ah, but here we need to go one past the dash. So F2 plus 1. Control Enter to populate our edited formula. Now, that'll tell us where to start. And then F2, we're going to use not left, not right, but mid. Now, mid's going to say, where is the text? And it it's going to ask, what's the starting number and how many characters? So the text, oh, right there, comma, starting number. We just did that. That tells it where in this text string does it want to start. That's the variable part. That was the tricky part, comma. And now number of characters. Well, we have a pattern here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So it's always 3. Close parentheses now. Left, right, and mid always deliver text. Notice right now there is a number from our search that's aligned to the right. Control Enter to populate this formula into the highlighted cells. These are numbers stored as text. Our default alignment is helping us out. It's giving us a clue. Now, just for kicks, that's a number. We can see the default behavior for a number to the left. This is a number stored as text. It's aligned to the left. Let's just see if they're the same. We can test it using a logical formula. Equals, are you equal to this? Now, I'll give you just a second here to guess. Is a number stored as a number going to be the same as a number stored as text? False all the way down. It's not going to work. Now, we have to learn a cool trick. And this will pop up in many formulas where you have a number stored as text. And you need to get it back to a number. Get this, F2, any math operation, times 1, divided by 1, double negative, plus 0, will all get you from a text number back to a number. So if I multiplied by 1, it, it retains the original number, but it's the act of doing a math operation that will convert it from number stored as text back to a number. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. That will work. I'm going to hit F2. You could plus 0. Control Enter. F2. And there's a few others. You could uh, um, divide by 1 and double negative. We'll talk about double negative later. I'm going to leave it like that. Control Enter. That's the number we're going to use as our lookup value to look up and get our price. F2 equals V lookup. That whole thing right there. We did search to find the position of a dash. Added one. Used it in mid. Got three characters. It was text. We added zero. So that whole thing, it may have taken us a long time to figure out how to do all that. But once we have it, we just throw it in our lookup value. Comma, now we got our table. F4, comma, 
column number two, comma, and the type of lookup, we're doing exact zero. Close parentheses. Control enter to populate, and there we have it. Control shift four, currency number format. Wow, that was pretty amazing here. It is uh, sometimes important to know how to extract from a larger text string. Here we used write because we saw the pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We used it as our lookup value. Here we saw that there wasn't a consistent pattern, so we had to search for a dash, but then we used that result inside of left, then inside of VLOOKUP. And finally here, we had to extract something from the middle. When we did our whole mid thing, we realized that it was text, so we added zero to go from a number stored as text back to a number, then used it inside of our lookup. All right, uh, next video we'll see how to probably do something a little bit easier than this. We'll see how to retrieve records from a database using VLOOKUP. All right, see you next video.